All right, let's talk about three different ways you can take advantage of your 20s. Number one, take risks. Your 20s are your time to take shots and miss. A big reason why this is the case is because we don't have any responsibilities. Well, we have very little responsibilities. We don't necessarily have a partner, mortgage or kids. And if you do have one of those things, then lucky you, you are blessed by responsibility. And so that's a really good thing because in a way you actually have a lot more drive and motivation to be successful. As for the rest of us, we have to be very self-driven or if we can be cause driven. Anyway, for most people in their 20s, we don't have those things. And so we have time and we have the opportunity to take shots. Literally, if you are interested in a particular field of work or picking up something, now's the time to go and do that. Because if you stuff up, no one's gonna really care or really say anything. That's obviously within reason. And if you are juggling a lot of things in the moment, like a full-time job and a few other things, then you're gonna have to try and find the time at the end of the day when you aren't working, where you can work on your passions and whatever it is that you want to do. This free time in our 20s is so crucial. We can either waste it or we can utilize it and take risks and find out what it is that we want to do. And when we do those things, we can find out more about the type of person that we want to be and set ourselves up for the future really well. Learn how to save money and invest. I cannot emphasize this enough. It's no longer a thing that you should do. Saving money and investing money is no longer a thing that you should do. It is something that you need to do. I remember about 10 years ago when I was about a wee kid, my mom would give me a couple of bucks and I would have to go into the bread shop and order a wholemeal flour loaf for toast. And I remember at that time it cost about $2.50. I go into the same bread store now and it costs $4.20. That's inflation. And I know money is a really touchy topic for a lot of people, but it's basically from what I understand, what makes the world go round and what puts food on the table. And so we need to be wise about how we spend it, how we save it and how we invest. And so when we are in our twenties, it's a really good idea to try and figure out a way when we get a paycheck, how we can put some of that money towards spending, some of it towards saving and some of it towards investing, because these are really important things that we need to start thinking about. If we want to go out for lunch, if we want to buy a house in the future, if we want to buy a car in the future, if we want to afford basic household items in the future, then we got to have money put aside so that we can afford these things and not think about having to worry too much about the next paycheck, which is what a lot of people do and is which what I do even now, but I want to get to a point where I don't have to worry too much about those things. Of course, they're always going to be on my mind, but if we can kind of systemize a way where we can minimize this concern and anxiety for whether or not we will have enough money in the future, then I think that's a really good way of going about it. Speaking of money, if you want to learn more about the psychology behind it and investing as well, then I'd highly recommend reading Rich Dad and Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I'll leave an affiliate link to the book in the description of this video. That book is a really good place to start. And number three, make self-awareness a priority. How can you expect to know what you want to do and who you want to be if you don't even know a little bit about yourself? And so make self-awareness a priority for you in your life. Inquire into your own mind about your weaknesses, about your strengths, about bad habits that you have, things that you want to change and the type of person that you want to be. Sure, of course, it will take time and it can be scary at times because you have to face a lot of demons. But this is one of those things where the benefit definitely outweighs the cost. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and makes a massive difference. I wish you all the inspiration and power. I'll see you in the next one.